What's going on guys? First location here. Just quickly throwing a little bit around here. This one's not too bad, so I'm not not too worried about this one. I want to get on to the other ones. Over in the next towns. I heard those were a little bit worse over there, so I need to boot scoot and boogie over there, but I do want to tidy this one up while I'm here because I don't come back this way until I go back home. So this is always the first one to get done. takes like three minutes to do the parking lot and it's gonna take me about three minutes to go run around get these sidewalks and get my book signed so that's that catch up with you guys at the next one stick in there on you you'll have to get out and spin the spinner manually unless you have a vibrator which I know you guys are going to tell me I need to get a vibrator I used to have one on my old spreader but not on this guy but I'll get one for next year for sure so hurry up and knock this property out and we'll get on to the next location and you guys are going to see a common theme here tonight which those of you guys that have watched my other snow removal videos know the kind of properties that I take care of. Two is all wrapped up. Got our book signed. 
the book is how the management company knows that we service the property and it's how the company who is getting the work done knows that the property was serviced. They have the on-site manager sign the book, I sign the book, and then it's got the management company's logo on it. So it's kind of got all three companies tied in together and it's a way of you know documenting exactly what happened at what time. So it's a pretty good system. I like it. It works out great for me. It's a good way to keep my records of it and it's a good way to make sure everything was done and there can be no fuss about whether it was done or not, the on-site manager signs, no way around it, you're getting paid. So I think it's pretty cool. About to pull up on location number three, and you guys will recognize this logo. Here we go, property number three. I don't know if you can see the sign behind me, but the golden arches, everybody knows McDonald's, right? But hey, these properties have to be serviced too. Gotta do it all, guys. This was my account. Like I said, this is a subcontracting account through a property management company, which is what a lot of these larger corporations want is property management companies, and then they can take care of all the locations within a X mile radius. You know, they can they can give them 80 or 100 locations. they can service that versus someone like me who yeah I can probably take care of 15 McDonald's maybe something like that within my area but there's no way I could do 80 or 100 I mean you're talking way too much area but the property management companies they hook up with certain landscapers in certain areas and voila then you end up doing a McDonald's and you end up being that certain landscaper so it works out good for everybody. It works out good for the McDonald's type companies. It works out good for the me type companies. And it works out good for the property management companies. So it's a win, win, win. And like I say all the time, that's your best case scenario in anything business. If everyone can win, you're unstoppable. All right, so we just wrapped that one up, number three. I'm going to look at another one right here down the road, about a mile or so down here, uh, check that one out. But those people are a little more tight, so I doubt I'll hit that one, but I'm going to check it out and see what we think. Uh, all these gas stations that I'm doing are zero tolerance, so if it's around, I've explained this a couple other times in a few of our uh, salting videos, but if it's around 32 degrees and it's wet, you salt it. There's no there's no guessing there. They want it done. They don't want any issues. They don't want any lawsuits. They don't want it to be done and not slick at any time. So they're a little more. They're a little more tight. This one, it's wet. See, and that's the thing. It's wet. It's right on the borderline. So let me know in the comments what you guys do in situations like this. Those of you guys that are in snow removal. Or if you're not in snow removal, maybe just let me know what you would do if it were you. Because this is a hard, hard judgment call sometimes, guys. It's it's really hard to make this decision when you can leave right now, especially in the Midwest. Those of you guys in the St. Louis area know how crappy it is. You can literally leave here in 45 minutes. It'll be totally different than it was. I'm going to get out and check this. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is what we got. It's wet everywhere. And some of it even looks like ice, but I'm sticking my, I'm out here now. That's why I jumped out. It did look like ice, but it's not. Usually on this property, I look at these curbs whenever it's like this. If these curbs are iced up, yeah, they're not. And it's starting to dry a little bit right down there, so. I think this one is a pass, guys. Look at the moon. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty cool. But, yeah. This one is a pass, so on to the next. I wasn't really planning on doing this one. I kind of thought I was going to be skipping it, so. 
and we're probably not going to end up doing as much as I thought, or as much as I hoped, I should say. Uh, but we'll still get some. Still make some cheddar on this very peaceful Sunday night. I'm listening to a country music countdown, and it's pretty relaxing. Some of you guys might hate country music, uh, whatever. I listen to every kind of music, literally. I listen to old classical music, Beethoven. I will listen to 50s rock and roll. I will listen to rap. I really, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, as long as there's meaning behind the words and as long as you can understand the words. I don't like screamo music where you can't understand the words. But as long as it's music where you can understand the words and it's got some kind of meaning, some kind of story, I'll listen to it. So here we go on to location number four, I guess five, I guess you can call that since we skipped that one. And I'm going to turn on my country music, catch up with you guys when we get there. Sounds good. I'll hit Fairview and then Alright, so that was the manager I deal with, with the property management company, and we're kind of on the same page. We don't really think it's necessary to hit all the locations, so we're going to back off a little bit uh, and hit two more for sure, and then kind of see from there, see what we got going. But we don't want to, we don't want to go so, salt all these places and it not be necessary, so gotta just kind of pick your battles when it comes to this stuff like I was saying earlier let me know in the comments what you guys do because it's a it's a constant gamble when it comes to this kind of stuff some of these contracts like this one they got they got a lot of these locations so it's a big heavy contract and it's very very specific in there so these ones you don't want to mess around Alright, so we just wrapped that one up. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more here on this exit when I pull out. That's about it for this one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I like these ones. I like salt and period. It's great. There's some relations between fertilizer, spreading fertilizer and spreading salt, but I don't know. I like spreading salt here in a truck. Climate control. It's nice. It really is. Next year, I'm going to push pretty hard harder than I did this year. I'm trying to pick up some more snow. I push hard in certain areas. I don't some people go hard in every single area. I don't do that. I try to give it some kind of direction. Especially with a lot of my advertising you guys that follow me on Facebook mainly, Instagram not so much. Because on Instagram I kind of just gear that towards sharing what's going on internally um, in the projects as well but just kind of what's going on our day to day but our Facebook I gear more towards actually getting business and gaining customers so Facebook is more strategic where it's an Instagram is just every day whatever's going on at the time so um, there are strategies and there are ways to do that but like I said I don't push you know I don't push everything 100% Right now we're pushing a lot of hardscape and landscape installs, so those are the kind of pictures I've been posting, that's what I've been talking about. I'm going to back off on the mowing pictures a little bit this year, even though it's going to be hard because we just picked up a bunch of accounts, but that's where our push is going to come from, so that's my uh, that's my plan there a little bit. Like I said, if you follow us, you probably already kind of picked up on that a little bit, but that is our plan. I suggest you guys have some kind of plan with your social media marketing. If you're not marketing on social media, I'm going to go Gary V on you guys. 
If you're not marketing on social media, you're behind. You need to get on social media right now, today. I don't care if you have 10 lawn care customers. If you're in any way, shape, or form wanting to grow your business, you need to be on social media, and I'm not joking at all. You don't have to do YouTube videos like this. You don't have to post every single day, but you need to have a presence. You need to have a home plate. On these social media accounts, you have to have somewhere where they can find you if they go on any, because everybody uses different social media threads. Some people use Snapchat, some people use Instagram, some people use Facebook, some people use Twitter, some people only watch YouTube videos and don't have any of those accounts, but in some way, shape, or form, I would say 95% of people, and I'm just throwing a number out there, I don't know the real statistics, somebody probably does, but do let me know in the comments, but somewhere in the range of 90 to 95% of people, I would say, in some way, shape, or form, use social media, whether it's your grandma looking up how to make something on YouTube, which if your grandma's anything like mine, she don't need to look up how to make anything, she's amazing at everything she cooks, but she, my grandma probably looks it up on how to change the batteries in her clock or how to do this or that around the house. There's a million things on YouTube and I'm telling you in some way, shape or form, most people use YouTube. A lot of the younger people use all of the social media accounts. So like I'm saying, in some way, shape or form, you need to have a presence on these accounts. And do a little research with these too. If you research Facebook advertising or how to set up my Facebook account for my business on YouTube, easily, easily, easily you'll be able to find five hours of very helpful information. Just kind of skip around, feel out the video, if it feels like they're teaching you something, go with it, keep watching. Briefly, what I do on my Facebook, I have my profile set up nicely where when someone goes and looks at my profile, it looks professional, it looks complete, it's not a hodgepodge. We think everything that we want to put out there is going to be, you know, held above the rest, kind of, so to say. That's our plan. So, and I'm going to, and I'm going to suggest the same for you. If you are going to do this social media, which you really, really should, you need to have a little plan and you need to try to post quality stuff because that's what people want. That's what a lot of people are just frustrated with, not quality work. And they're not so much worried about the price as they are the quality work. I just picked up six six accounts. I picked up more than six accounts the moment this week. But I picked up six accounts just this week that were charging more than the previous guy. Some of them more than double or right at double, literally. Like double the price that the previous guy was charging. And they're okay with it because they were so frustrated with the quality. And they just couldn't take it anymore. And they had to search for somebody else. They found us on social media. I think the one person was Facebook, and that was multiple properties. And then the other person found us on YouTube and watched some of our videos and just said that he thinks the quality of our work is amazing and he wants that at his location. So voila, we got picked. So booyah, those of you who think YouTube is for nothing, there's a job that came from YouTube, so pretty cool. And the social media stuff is no joke, guys. If you're not on it, get on it. Now I'm done talking. I'm gonna finish this drive out, get to the next location here before we go.
think that is going to be a wrap for tonight, guys. I got to make a phone call, but everything else is looking pretty dry. This, this isn't looking so bad. They didn't get as much precipitation over here as we did where we were at in the other areas. Like you can see the ice hanging off of my, off of my mirror there. Down here. This is all covered in ice. The whole truck was. You can still see some of the slush down there by the the wipers, but they just didn't get as much around here. You can see, you can tell right there where it's drying near the cracks. Do the same thing back there. So, all right, we gotta hit this station. Make a phone call, and as long as he is on the same page as me, we're heading home. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. says 37 but I think it's acting up I don't think it's right because it said 32 I literally looked up earlier it said 31 then it went to 32 and then I looked at, I looked at it it was 32 I looked away for a second and I looked right back and it said 36 so I don't really yeah well, yeah, I do, but it was weird that it changed four degrees, like, in a matter of, like, a second, but who knows. I was in, I was, it was right when I left the McMoto. Huh, that's wild. good all right well i will give you a call around that time in the morning if i see anything but if you don't hear from me then it's not slick my way all right i'll talk to you soon i'm sure but i'll talk to you in the morning all right will do see ya that's a wrap guys Headed for the hills, as he said. He thinks I live in the hills. I don't live in the hills, but I do live kind of out in the country. But I like it. I love where I live, so wouldn't change it. But yeah, that's it. So boring salt spreading video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Those of you guys that actually get snow, you're laughing at me right now because this brings us out in the Midwest. But that's how it works. And those of you guys that don't get snow and ice. It's cool for you to see another perspective, I guess, from a different part of the country. Some work that you guys don't get the chance to do, but it's cool, I think. I think it's fun. It's cool to, uh, like I said, see a different perspective and the way things are done in different parts of the country and just with di different atmospheres and, and different climates, obviously, the way the plants are. And the, the environment that we work in as landscapers is going to be different across the country and across the world too so i know there's a lot of people that watch our videos that aren't from the u.s that are from canada or even even overseas so it's cool to see different perspectives maybe uh, let me know in the comments if you are from somewhere way far away or somewhere in a totally different climate let me know something that uh, you guys do that we wouldn't have any clue about so uh, something that like I said, that, that you guys do that we would never have the opportunity to do just because that's not the way that our climate is. So if you got something unique, let me know. But other than that, guys, that about wraps it up. A lot of talking in this one. I feel like that's what I've been doing lately, but I feel like some of you guys are enjoying it. Some of you guys are able to learn from it just by uh, me sharing experiences or, you know, talking talking through my work kind of is what I'm trying to do. So uh, let me know in the comments if you are enjoying it or if you're not liking it, let me know that too. Uh, I encourage constructive criticism but i don't like the negativity so if you're a negative person just uh, keep it to yourself but if you have some constructive criticism that you think would benefit me or benefit the channel i guess or my business uh let me know for sure i'm, I'm all about growing i'm all about learning uh, life is a journey and i want to pick up as much knowledge on this journey as i possibly can so if you got something that you think would benefit me definitely let me know i'm all about it thanks for watching guys i really do appreciate all the support
support, be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook if you have not already. You can like our Facebook page and you can follow us on Instagram. Shoot me a message if you got a question that you don't feel comfortable leaving in the comments. Uh, I've had some people do that on some more personal type questions. So if you got something like that, definitely shoot it over to me. Be happy to help you.